Well, Daniel, ultimately, that's uh, a good controlled FA Cup win, isn't it? Yes, I'm really happy with this win because we played today a side who's uh, sitting in the top position uh, in, uh, in League One. And if you're sitting in the top position, you have championship quality. We all are seeing what, what Ipswich is doing, who played last season in, uh, in League One. Um, and they played with confidence, just good results in the recent weeks. Uh, they had nothing to lose, excited home crowd. They played their best starting in 11. It was a game on, on championship level. And then to win this game comfortably with a clean sheet win, sheet win with three goals, also really good performance. Uh, I'm quite happy. We were also able to rest a few players, were able to give some valuable minutes, uh, minutes away. So for us, a perfect day today. And the most important is we are in the next round. This is what we wanted. This is what we are. And so I'm a happy man today. Two nice tales around the goal scorers today as Ethan gets his first and then his second goal for Leeds United. And in between them, Patrick's goal, which is a wonder strike, isn't it? I think it was his uh, first and second goal in, uh, in, in the senior uh, level for, for Ethan. I'm always uh, holding the pressure high that he needs to score goals. Um, so I'm happy for him. Yeah, he deserves it. Um, he's so, so great and so valuable uh, for us. But it's also important that my midfielders or defensive players chip in uh, also with goals, sometimes out of set pieces. Ethan scored today too, out of set pieces. This is why I'm always on it and, and talk to my defensive players because sometimes you have to open a game or to bury a game even with set piece. And um, delighted for, for Ethan and hope makes him even more greedy to, to keep going also in, in order to score goals. Yes, and Patrick's goal was uh, quite all right. That's right. <laughs> quite all right. <laughs> you must have, um, as a striker, appreciated so many elements of the way you managed to strike that one, hit that one. Yes, but of course it was a world-class goal. We don't have to... Uh, talk about it um, but the whole world is praising Patrick right now so he doesn't need me right now to, to praise him so for me I'm more concentrated on what he's giving to the to the team and after difficult starting to the season was important that he's back on track right now also um, in, in, in training working hard coming into his rhythm important minutes also for Uh, for him today and the most um, important topic for him is always that he stays fit, that his body works and then he keeps going and uh, obviously also goals are always priceless for the confidence of my offensive players. I'm happy and delighted for Patrick that he scored again today. I would have even taken a um, cheap uh, rebound or uh, just just after layback out of two yards but yes to score in this fantastic manner is, is perhaps even, uh, even better. And, quite happy that uh, Patrick is in uh, such a good situation uh, back again. Do you have a preference for the draw? I mean, a home tie would be good. It's been 13 on the spin away for Leeds. A home draw would be good, would it not? Home would be nice. Yeah. Also, it feels at the moment we have uh, four away games within, uh, within the last five, uh, five games. Also, uh, between Christmas and New Year, we had to travel around. Would be nice uh, to, to play in our living room. Um, I take each and every draw, but uh, a home game would be nice yeah, in front of our excited supporters. They were again fantastic today. They made more or less a home game out of it, but I would prefer Elland Road because it's, it's more or less our, our home and would be nice also to present uh, a proper cup draw um, uh, in, front of, in front of the home fans because they were missing uh, a lot. They have A-Cup home, home games in the recent years. So yeah, let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. You.